up, Camp Renovate? Welcome back to Camp Renovate TV. I'm Jackie T, and today we are continuing in our series talking about wisdom. Everyone say wisdom. Wisdom. Now, on this adventure that we're on, we have figured out where we can find wisdom and who we can ask for wisdom. And those answers are we can find wisdom in the Bible when we ask God for it. Now let's go over what wisdom is before we get ahead of ourselves. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. Everybody say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Wisdom, finding out what you should do and doing it. Good job. Now stand up to your feet and let's sing our song Undefeated. Here we go. Great singing and dancing. Isn't it cool that we know that God is undefeated? He fights our battles for us. And later today in our Bible story, we're going to look at how when we have wisdom, we can see out danger before it happens. Now let's go over our memory verse in James chapter one, verse five. And it says, if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Okay, let's say that on the count of three, all together, one, two, three. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Great job. Now we're gonna jump right into our Bible story and we're gonna look at three steps to helping us have wisdom and see out danger. Here we go. Hey everyone. Now today we're going to look at the Bible to see how we can find God's wisdom and put it into practice. And last week we talked about a man named Solomon. Everyone say Solomon. Now Solomon became king over God's people after his father, King David. God appeared to Solomon in a dream and he told Solomon that he could ask for 
anything he wanted. Solomon could ask for anything, but he knew what was really important. He knew what he needed in order to be a good king. He chose wisdom. Everyone say wisdom. Wisdom. Because of that, God made Solomon one of the wisest people in the world ever known. Many of the wise sayings God taught Solomon were collected together in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is in the middle of your Bible, right after Psalms. Let's take a look at verse of one of Solomon's Proverbs. This is Proverbs 22, 3. And it says, Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Okay, kids, I want you to say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Good job. Okay, now let's break it down so we can really understand what this proverb is trying to say. Step number one is stop. Everyone say stop. Stop. Put up your hand like this. Stop. Now, when you're in a tough situation and you don't know what to do, it can be a really wise choice to just stop. Take a deep breath. Look around, take a pause before you do something you might regret. Remember that wise advice from Solomon in the book of Proverbs? Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. Now, I know this isn't always easy. When someone is mean to you, the first thing you might feel like doing is what? Right, being mean back. But it's wise to stop instead of rushing ahead and doing something foolish. Step one is to stop. Step two is to think. Look like you're thinking. After we've stopped what we were about to do, we can take a second to think. This allows us to really understand the situation. See, God's given us all this wisdom to think through what's likely to happen based on what we can see right now. Raise your hand if you play a sport. Maybe you play football. For example, maybe you're playing a two-hand touch football game with some kids in your neighborhood and someone bumps into you and knocks you over. In the moment, it might seem like they did it on purpose, but if you stop, and think, you realize that it was probably just an accident since you're playing football. If you stop and think before you react, it can help you make the wise choice. Or maybe, what if your mom gets frustrated with you because you forgot to clean up the dirty clothes from your floor? It would be easy to talk back to your mom or make an excuse about why you didn't do it. But if you stop and think, you realize she's right, you did forget and that will probably change the way that you respond. All right, step three is to act. We've stopped what we were about to do. We've taken time to think about what would happen next, and now it's time to act. Remember Solomon's wise advice? Proverbs 22, three. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. See, wise people see what could go wrong instead of heading straight to the trouble. They go the other way. They do what they know is safe. They do what they know will make the situation better. Let's think about this. Maybe you have a big test or an assignment due tomorrow, but you just got this brand new video game and you really want to play. Use wisdom. Stop what you're doing. Think about what's the wise thing to do right now and then act. Set a timer so that you can play for 10 minutes and then turn off the game so you can study. Let's look at one more situation. Maybe you overhear some of your friends making fun of a new kid in class. It would be easy to laugh along with them, but you stop and you think about how it would make them feel in this new place when someone was laughing at you behind your back. You can think about how sad it is to treat someone that way. And you act. You make the wise choice by telling your friends that that's not okay. Sometimes the wise thing is a lot harder to do than the wrong thing. But God can help us live with wisdom if we remember to do this. Stop, think, and act. Everybody do that with me, those three motions. Stop, think, and act. One more time, stop, think, and act. Good job. Since the very beginning, God created people to think. All we have to do is stop long enough to use the wisdom God's given us. Like it says in our Bible verse, God gives us wisdom freely. That means we don't even have to do anything. All we have to do is ask. Here's a challenge for you. And our bottom line today is to think before you act. Stop, think, and act. That's a great way to put God's wisdom in practice. And we definitely need God's help to do everything we do every day. Let's pray and talk to him now. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you that you give us the ability to stop, think, and then act, and so that we can make the wise choice. We thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Camper today, it's been so much fun hanging out with you. Can't wait to see you back next week. Bye!